guys welcome back to my channel kajirata online in this video i'm going to explain and give you an example about how you can interface your arduino uno uh, with this what we call it as a, a photo resistor sensor okay so they are being attached with the ldr light dependent resistor and then we got the small potentiometer over here that we can control and adjust the sensitivity of the photo resistor over here and then this is the LCD connected with the I square seat into the sensor shield Arduino Uno version 5 and then it is also being connected with this HC05 Bluetooth module okay so uh, in this video I'm just going to explain to you about how you can use this digital sensor why I call it as a digital sensor so actually um, I'm being attached this uh, connector over here we got three pins if you can see here we got uh, VCC ground and also the yeah this one you can see it's much more better like this okay let me just focus it a little bit yeah you can see over there VCC ground and DO DO means digital output so actually I'm I'm not sure what is the value or what is the meaning of those DO so that's why I'm attach it at the um, Arduino Uno and also the leg correspond to this sensor as follows okay so the first one VCC go to the 5 volt of the Arduino Uno followed by the middle one the white color um, wire over here go to the ground and then another one uh, will be going to the analog sensor zero okay so after doing uh, these connections after perform this connection then um, i'm doing a little bit of coding using a picto blocks and then after that what i can see over here when we control the darkness of the sensor so it's come out about this uh, similar values which is indicate a high resistance um, or we call it as a very high um, loading of the ADC coming out from the um, Arduino and then after we expose it into the very bright condition because this lamp uh, the lamp that I'm been using streaming this video is actually um, equipped with the flash from the mobile phone so if you can see over here if we make some sort of a darker condition then the value will be high and then when we remove it the value will be lower uh, however we can see that the the value is between the range of um, whether it is a high number of the ADC correspond to 1000 uh, and above or it will be going to the uh, much more lower level which is uh, indicated here which is 69 and then I fail to um, observe any uh, intermediate levels between that two two values okay and therefore uh, this one is not suitable to be used as the analog uh, read function or analog sensor because they're not being given um, the continuous data is just giving the value of uh, approximate less than 70 or uh, more than 1000 which is a complete darkness or a little bit of bright so if I'm being exposed into a little bit of light also it is just indicate um, the value of less than 70 so um, by knowing this connection of the analog read function uh, together with the LCD and so on then we can understand whether this sensor is actually an analog sensor or a digital sensor Alright, so let us uh, have a look how we uh, hooking up all this connectivity to our Arduino uh, Uno. Okay, so the first of all, let me open my picto blocks. As you know, this uh, series, I more focus on picto blocks as one of the method uh, in coding up your Arduino. Okay, and then we have a future video that's much more complicated where we can discuss more on uh, some of the some of the time also i may explain about using the arduino ide okay so after you make the connection then the next step is you go to the board over here 
make sure you uh, choose the correct board in my case i'm using the arduino uno uh, together with this connect button over here and then make sure you make a, a respective connection towards your com port and after that you can begin the uh, coding part of the arduino then proceed with the mode choose upload mode and then we can proceed the first one we call upon the arduino uno and then choose the head over here just drag the head over here and then you can also go to this control and then uh, drag for the um, delay and then drag for the forever block just put it inside our main area over here main canvas and then we can uh, proceed with the variables so i already did this variable before let me just begin it so you can just go to these variables and then make a variable so in this case my variable will be light okay so i'm going to assume that this is a light condition and then we insert this set okay just put everything inside our forever block something like this so what will happen uh, the arduino startup and then the line are going to be set to something therefore we might want to proceed with the arduino uno over here and then drag the read analog function after you doing this so basically what will happen the arduino startup and then it will define those uh, read analog function a0 as light uh, therefore i want to simulate it into the serial monitor uh, over here or i can interface it with our um, i square c uh, lcd Alright, so to do that, uh, because I um, much more prefer to use the um, LCD so that we can know what kind of uh, state are being changed from one to another. Then you can proceed with the display module over here and then choose for the initialization stage of the Arduino using the initialize 16 by 2 i square c display address as follows which is, uh, is already uh, the standard one which is uh, identify here 0 times by 27 and then the next one we can choose the write function down here okay and then proceed with the hello world so this hello world need to be changed with our variables then go to the variable over here and then drag those light into our display but actually this is not finished uh, due to the fact that we need some sort of uh, cursor to set our right up okay so i'm going to drag this one also down here okay so it is look like okay but let me rearrange it back so just put the cursor down here and then proceed with the second over here so it's finished already our setup for the arduino uno with the digital sensor over here and then we also specify everything as the analog pin at the moment because we want to know the values so after we know the values then after this we can make a control uh, if the values are more than this then what will happen and then if the values less than this what will happen so after that uh, do not forget to click the upload code over here and then the arduino uno are going to be uploaded inside your um, at mega chip over there and then it's going to give uh, similar actions that i already discussed uh, with you just now okay so to interface this one in much more complex condition okay you can see here let me uh, just simulate it to you when we make it darker then the value will be indicate more than 1000 and then when we expose it to sunlight it is correspond to approximate 70 uh, the value uh, 70 and then more than 1000 so we can play those range so that we can make some sort of switching mechanism in the future okay so let me uh, begin with the second step of our discussion where we want to interface with the uh, hc05 bluetooth module over here so that we can also observe any values that it's coming from the sensor and also the i square c lcd into our smartphone for recording purposes so we can just go to the table over here okay just go to the double and then scroll for the set bluetooth rate okay so we set the bluetooth bot rate uh, at equivalent of 9600 and after that you can choose this uh, palette or we call it as a terminal module you can just uh, pick it uh, pick this one up and then send hello are being changed to 
what we call it as a variables because we name our variable already as light over here so everything is fine just uh, tweaking here and there then you can have a uh, useful mobile devices that can retrieve the de data and also record it inside your smartphone um, or you can just um, look at it so that you know the status of this uh, sensor and uh, correspond to the values right and then uh, proceed with the upload code and then let us uh, open our smartphone and then see the action uh, using the apps uh, being given by the steampedia which is we call it as a double okay so the first of all um, as you know when we open after everything is finished uh, uploaded into our um, into our Arduino then you can proceed to open up your double okay just uh, go to the double over here and then please uh, find your please find your um, button over there this is the connection connection button that we want to enable our Bluetooth okay so just uh, let the phone try to discover this HC05 okay this one is already being connected before but if it's not being connected yet then you might want to uh, set it first so the way to do that is basically let me just remove it first so that you know um, if you are uh, connected it uh, for the first time basis then you might want to go to the pair new devices and then uh, find those HC05 okay and then uh, insert the correspond um, password usually the password will be set as one two three four or uh, zero 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 four times zero okay after that you click at the ok button and then it is already being indicated like this that's mean our phone is already memorizing this hc05 then when you go to the double over here you can just uh, connect that it and then it, it it's going to show something like okay the connected with the arduino board already and then you can open on the top over here we call it as a terminal and then inside the terminal because there are some delay that's why the data will be correspond like this 69 69 same with our lcd and then when we make some sort of closure or we make some sort of manipulation on the um, exposure rate of the sensor then the values are going to be indicated more than 1000 so it is very good for us to make as a switch where there is a light present then um, the lights are going to be off and then when when there is no light then um, basically in the darkness then um, the lights are going to be light up okay so uh, to do that as a switch we can uh, proceed with the, another video in the future so please stay tuned and enjoy watching this video with that um, as you know uh, the credit goes to the steampedia the company who are invented these devils and also picto blocks and then uh, all the descriptions details and uh, the code the picture that you can correspond with the picto blocks are available in our video description until then see you again next time and see you again. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum and thank you for watching.